Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqib. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the new British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and congratulated him on his election, wishing him success in performing his duties and responsibilities. His Majesty expressed pride in the long standing relations that bind Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which are based on principles of cooperation and mutual respect. His Majesty commended British efforts in supporting regional and international security and stability and affirmed Bahrain's keenness on enhancing joint political, security and economic cooperation in other fields. His Majesty reiterated Bahrain's continuous coordination and consultation with the UK to tackle all issues and different threats that confront the international community. The British Premier expressed deep gratitude to His Majesty and reiterated his country's keenness on strengthening relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain. He commended Bahrain's efforts to consolidate regional stability and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace, the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Azam Barak Al Subah. His Majesty reviewed with the Ambassador the fraternal ties between the two countries, noting the advanced level the relations reached and the continuous development they witness in all fields in light of the joint keenness also solidifying them. His Majesty asserted that the Kuwaiti leadership and its people hold a special status to the Kingdom, hailing Kuwait's supporting stances led by His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah in his tireless efforts to promote joint Arab action serve the nation's causes and defend its interests. In appreciation for the efforts of the Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain in bolstering bilateral relations, His Majesty the King presented him with the first class order of Bahrain. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for being granted the order, affirming his appreciation for His Majesty's efforts and keenness on developing Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad on the occasion of restructuring the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King on the Royal Trust by appointing him President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, pledging to His Majesty to exert his utmost efforts to continue the march of supporting the youth and sports movement, make further honorable achievements, and provide plans and programs that raise the Kingdom's status. His Majesty the King was briefed by His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the Council's directives in the coming period and a strategy towards achieving progressive development for the youth and sports sectors. His Majesty the King hailed the Council's approach and the development initiatives that His Highness proposed. His Majesty directed to hold the Council's meeting chaired by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to discuss the plan and set its operational framework to achieve the ambitions of the affiliates of the youth and sports sectors. In a statement, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the youth and sports movement in the Kingdom has made many remarkable achievements on the regional, continental and global levels which were a result of His Majesty's support and vision. He added that His Majesty the King directed the Minister of Youth and Sports to find solutions for all suspended financial issues and to work towards making further successes for national clubs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a written letter from the High Representative of the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations, the UNOAC, Miguel Angel Martinos, in which he hailed His Royal Highness the Premier's initiative, adopted by the United Nations General Assembly, the UNGA, which declared the April 5th as the International Day of Conscience. The UNAOC High Representative stressed the importance of His Royal Highness the Premier's initiative in bolstering the international community's efforts to promote peace tolerance, pluralism, understanding, and solidarity. He expressed appreciation and esteemed His Royal Highness the Premier for his efforts and initiatives that encourage amity, forbearance, and compassion among the people. Moritinas praised the UNGA's adoption of this initiative, 
under the Clause on Culture of Peace through Bahrain's permanent mission to the United Nations in New York. He praised the objectives promoted by His Royal Highness's initiative commensurates with basic values adopted by the UNAOC aimed to build equalitarian, pluralistic and peaceful communities to boost the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs 2030. He also expressed aspiration to celebrate the International Day of Conscience with Bahrain on April 5th, as well as to work with the Kingdom in promoting the values of tolerance among the people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met the candidates joining the fifth intake of the First Deputy Prime Minister's Fellowship, the FDPM Fellowship at Ghudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of continuing to invest in Bahrain's youth through the development of programs aimed at further strengthening an environment of creativity and innovation that serves the Kingdom's Sustainable Development Goals in line with His Majesty the King's vision and directives. Speaking more broadly about the FDPM Fellowship, His Royal Highness noted the success of the program to date and the significant impact it has had in supporting and further developing the performance and competitiveness of various government entities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the FDPM Fellowship's fifth intake, noting the relentless commitment and determination displayed by former fellows to develop their skills and expertise. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed hope that the fellows will capitalize on the opportunities provided by the program in order to enhance their skill set and contribute to the Kingdom's long-term development. His Royal Highness went on to extend his appreciation to the Fellowship's administrators and staff for their ongoing efforts towards further advancing the program's objectives and highlighted the continued commitment to support the program. For their part, the FDPM Fellows expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and for his continued support to similar programs that enable the youth to further develop the Kingdom's public sector. The committee in charge of organizing the Work Together for Legislative Aspirations Conference held its second meeting under the leadership of the President of the Legislative and Legal Committee, Delal Jassim Zayed. The meeting was attended by representatives from the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs, the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the Supreme Council for Women, Tempkeen and the King Hamad Hospital. As Zayed affirmed that the meeting reflects the keenness of all parties on cooperation and coordination on matters that have been suggested by officials and citizens from all sectors of society. As Zayed said that the recommendations of the workshops, which have been held at the Shura Council last July, represent the Council's engagement with the citizens and its keenness on meeting their aspirations through the legislative system to contribute to Bahrain's development and prosperity and to improve government services for all citizens and residents alike. The follow-up committee uh, of the Shura Council Conference um, had an in-depth discussion of uh, three hours uh, and, and more with respective uh, ministerial uh, officials and um, this was regarding the implementation of the respective recommendations uh, of the conference. Um, for, for example, we discussed uh, with the Ministry of uh, uh, Justice uh, facilitation of the process with the execution court um, when it comes to urgent uh, matters via the e-government, technical glitches that some of the participants at the conference were complaining about at the time, um, the process of the respective judge judgments, uh, a 24-hour judge we understand is always at hand there, um, working on respective uh, detention matters, travel bans, um, if respective fines uh, are paid online, we understand that 
that this respective judge on duty uh, following up these e-government matters would be accepting it and uh, facilitating it to the respective um, uh, departments in less than 24 hours.